What's up folks, Ethan here at Hunt Ford and today I wanted to take a little bit in this video to answer some of your questions you've had about the F-150 Tremor. Now we've already posted two videos and we'll link that down in the description below. We've had a walk around of a 401A and we've done a driving review of a 401A. But what I wanted to do today is answer some of your questions from both those videos that we've had on Facebook. And then we're gonna take a look at this 400A and show you what exactly is standard on the F-150 Tremor series. With that said, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do so down below. We've got a lot of great stuff coming out here over the next few weeks. We've got some really, really cool trucks and vehicles coming in as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this video. So in that Velocity Blue walk around that we did, it was kind of hard to tell what was actually standard on the Tremor and what came as a part of that 401A package. So here are the standard features on a 400A Tremor. So first things first, we are going to talk about the mechanical options. You get the 3.5 EcoBoost, that's Ford's general workhorse engine. With that, you get a 373 electronic locking rear axle. The exhaust setup is a little bit different on these trucks as well. So there is a dual output that has a little bit sportier sound than a regular F-150. Finally, you are going to get your upgraded shocks on both the front and the rear. It is a mono tube setup in the front and a twin tube setup in the back. The back has a nice little tremor badge on those shocks. And as we mentioned in the previous videos, those are tuned a little bit softer than other F-150s so that it's a little bit more for the rougher, rocky or terrain. You do also get some skid plates and your tow hooks. The front two tow hooks are going to actually be on the accent orange that is going to match the rest of the accents throughout the vehicle. You do have the same 18 inch dark matte finish wheels and wrapped around those are going to be the 275 by 70 33 inch general grabber all-terrain tires. So most of the exterior features are going to be the same across the Tremor lineup. The 400A, however, is only going to have halogen headlamps. That is a really big difference when you are used to those kind of headlamps. So in order to get those, you're going to need to get the LED reflectors on the 401A, or you need to get the LED projectors that are going to be on the 402. And so these are going to be the same that are on the XLT Sport, which is the LED reflectors, or the Lariat LED projector headlamps. Other than that, there are really no major differences to the exterior of the 400A versus the 401A. So we haven't had a chance to get a 402A on our lot yet, but we do have one or two coming in towards the later part of this month, so stay tuned for that. So most of the big differences between the different equipment groups on this series are going to come on the interior. For example, a lot of questions were asked about this eight inch screen compared to the 12 inch screen. The 400A has the eight inch sync 4 screen in the center stack. Once you move up to the 401, this becomes the 12 inch screen that is also featured in the 402. There was a lot of confusion between this and the productivity screen over in front of the steering wheel. So on this 400A, you have the four inch productivity screen, which moves into the eight inch productivity screen on the 401A and then once you move into that 402A, that's when it becomes that 12 inch all digital cluster that Ford has put out on this new F-150. As well as behind the steering wheel on the column, you do have your shifter on this 400A, which is going to be standard. But once you move up into the 401A, that turns into a shifter that is on the floor and actually has the deployable shifter as well. These are the cloth seats that are going to be featured on this 400A. These are the standard F-150 Tremor seats. They do still have that orange accents, but they do not have the leather or vinyl or whatever material that is on the 401A that we talked about earlier. You do also get the upfitter switches as a part of the base. I know there was some confusion as to whether those were featured on the 401A or not as well. We did have a couple questions about the trail turn assist and the trail control and the one pedal trail driving. Those are going to be driving features available on the 401 and above. This is not going to have those features on this 400A 
base. And then finally, some of the questions we had were actually about the payload and towing capacity of these trucks. So Ford has advertised that the max towing on these F-150 trimmers are going to be 10,900 pounds. Obviously, those numbers change as you add cargo, as you add things into the bed of your truck, and as you add passengers. So that 10.9 is going to be your max number that it is going to safely be able to pull and stop. Again, this does have the 3.5 EcoBoost, so that's going to be very different from the max trailer tow package that is available on the different F-150s. These trucks aren't going to be meant for towing as much as possible. Most of that difference in towing is going to be because of the different suspension options they have on this truck. One of the biggest questions that we have been asked since we started making these videos on this truck is what is the payload capacity for these vehicles? The payload capacity is going to be really, really affected by the overall options and configuration that you put on your truck at order. For example, this truck as a base model has a payload capacity of 1,877 pounds. It's not too terribly far off what Ford advertised as the 1880. However, our previous video featured a 401 that had a lot more options like the power moonroof and those features are going to actually bring your total weight of the vehicle up. And once you bring your weight of your vehicle up, that payload number comes down because you can only have so much weight on both axles. So that 401A vehicle specifically had a payload capacity of around 1,650 pounds. So that might be something to keep in mind when you're optioning out your truck. If payload is going to be a big deal for you, maybe skip out on some of those features that aren't must-haves so that you have the ability to actually carry more wherever you're wanting to go. For now, that's about all we have on this truck. Obviously, it is a base truck, so there's not as many features, and we've already covered most of them in that video down below, so be sure to check it out if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a few more 402 trucks coming in in the near future. As well, we do have a Code Orange Raptor with the all new 37 inch tire package coming in later on this month as well. So you don't wanna miss either one of those videos once we release them. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. As always guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. That's one of the easiest ways for you to tell us which videos you like and we will bring you more of those in the future. If I missed anything or if you think we forgot anything, go ahead and let us know down in the comments. I like to get down there and have a conversation with you all and see what you would like to see in the future. That's about all I've got for you guys. Thanks for watching, y'all take care.